And Hello. we're live. Hello. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> so, uh, our usual host, John, is not here today. But we have a new host. <laughs> a te temporary host? Uh, well, I'll, I'll be doing this a whole series of these, apparently. Um, making, uh, making a game using Construct 2. So we're doing another building game. We haven't quite finished the first one. So I should introduce myself. This is Frederica. Um, Effigy13 on the chat. I, I usually mod. I'm sort of in the background here. But today I am actually hosting on my computer. So this is really exciting. Um, we should probably go around. Okay, I'm going to be te doing a, a building a game with Construct 2, which I te teach uh, every Monday night from 6.30 to 8 o'clock here at the space for free. So if you're interested and you're in the capital region, or you happen to be in the capital region on a Monday night, come on by. Of New York, by the way. Oh, capital region of New York, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're curious, the capital region of New York is not in New York City. Nope. <laughs> uh, it's Brooklyn, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure, we're in Brooklyn. <laughs> I mean, technically we're in a city, but like, you'll probably come here and ask, this was not what I was sold, and we'll be like, well, sorry, this is not New York City. <laughs> yeah, it's big town. Uh, yeah. Are we interested? Oh, are we interesting? Or, sure. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm great. You don't have to. I'm here also. Just going to be helping out. I'm in the chat, too. <laughs> I'm and uh, I'm Taro Mia. I forgot to bring my computer, so you will not see me on the chat. But you will hear me make snippy dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, maybe I can put this on the data plan. You could see it from the, uh, or I put it on the Wi-Fi, and you could stream it if you want on the phone. Oh, that's a that's a good point. Mm. I, I, my battery is at like forty percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, I was off. I guess you did get a new phone. Right? All right. <laughs> but that would just be like it would be an expensive chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, well, it, expensive chat. It does get very, Twitch gets very expensive uh, on your phone. I have, to, I have actually done that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So with that, we're going to transition and I'm going to get start. So let's see, is anyone on the chat? Oh, I uh, probably should. So I'm going to... Start this. I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to do an empty project. We're going to start with a blank slate. Sweet. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And a new project. I'm going to I'm going to save it as a single file. All right. Mm -hmm. And this will be TVGS. Build a game. Are we planning on sharing this? At some point. Uh, it might be a good idea to not share it as a single file then. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we could save as later, I sure. think. Sure, that's fine. I just find it easier to transport. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Yep. All right, do... Okay, so we do have a... Oh. We have... We have... Efren's on. Oh, cool! I'm going to get the worst... <laughs> The most difficult stuff. So I'm going to actually post the, the, the link to the, the form. Wait a minute, like, oh, sorry. Let me just close that. Um, to the chat. <laughs> Wait a minute, like, oh, sorry. Let me just close that. You oh. should probably oh. mute <laughs> yeah. uh, the stream, I mean. The That's video. true. Sounds working. <laughs> <laughs> I would also pause it because it does mm -hmm. take up some resource. Oh, OK, yeah. That's a good point. My opinions. You no, can also, good opinions. <laughs> you can also pop up the uh, chat mm -hmm. if you want to, although I don't mm -hmm. know if that's going to be. I don't useful. have a, yeah, screen, screen space is, a, is sort of a premium right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> 10 by 7? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do we have any suggestions? Nephron, I am at your mercy. <laughs> This is this is uh, revenge. She's she's my youngest sister, so. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think of some suggestions. Well, I guess until you get suggestions, you could do what you like, right? I guess so. Um, Maybe I, that'll help inspire some of us. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I uh, I did have a request actually when I was talking to uh, to uh, Taco Pill. <laughs> he, he wanted uh, dancing. <laughs> so I can create a sprite that dances. It's 
Um, let's see. I, I feel like I should probably not try to do artwork, but at the same time, <laughs> not sure what I would get otherwise. But uh, I'm gonna get dancing, dancing sprite. While I'm waiting. And of course, double click. So, as I tell everyone, this is a very rudimentary paint program. So, you have. It's beautiful. It, <laughs> well, I, that's because I haven't drawn anything yet. <laughs> Wait a little while and you'll see how bad it gets. Let's see, dancing sprite. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I'll dance about as, as, as well as I do. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Well, the important thing I learned about dancing is that nobody cares. <laughs> I'm supposed to dance like nobody's watching. Okay. Now, I'm going to do X, I'm going to be inspired by XKCD. <laughs> of course, I think he actually does a much better job. <laughs> They're drawing a stick finger than I am right now. Well, it's hard to compete with Randall. Oh yeah, Randall Monroe is hard to compete with. Okay, mm -hmm. where is... Okay, oh, it's behind here, okay. So, now I wanna make it dance. All right, this is... <laughs> it would be nice if there was onion skinning. Onion skinning? Yeah, yeah onion oh. skinning is... Um, uh, animation term for having the last frame show up on the first frame at, at, or at, having the last frame show up on the current frame you're on uh, uh, oh. as a transparency so that you can at least see what your previous artwork looks like uh, okay that would be a good idea all right so now I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my hands up a little bit higher I think if I had more screen, I could actually see whether or not I've, I've accomplished this. You could shrink this window. Oh, I managed. I, I, no, I think I might have done yeah, it. Yeah, I this doesn't look it like it. It, it yeah. didn't update. That's what it did. I could shrink this. That's true. Let's shrink so that I, mean, I can our, actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, our wonderful character is uh, <laughs> he's doing fine and blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Blue, it's a, it's a good color, right? Yeah. <laughs> Happy stick figure is actually very blue. Yes. It's up in the air. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what is it? I uh, did not mean to do that. Okay. Uh, naturally. Okay. Here we go. And then we're going to, I don't know, make him. Like. Suggestion, 60 frames per second animation. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, the we'll just do one frame. It'll just be sixty times. Ah, <laughs> I will. I will. I will find a way around it. <laughs> so Federico did this little worm-like gesture. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna have our character kind of do like like this. No, that looks terrible. <laughs> Not that it look. It's gonna look much better. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> uh, I, I I I I didn't say I was an artist. <laughs> I, I hope that this is. I, I hope I give people confidence in their their ability to draw now. <laughs> Just from the standpoint of. Yeah, I always say move your hips when you're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nephron's blaming the wind and the umbrella for her tardiness. Oh, so well. the wind and the umbrella teamed up to attack my finger when my city was flooding, so my typing will be slower. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that was some quite, quite some flooding, pictures of flooding that she uh, sent. All right, let's see how this works now. Um, to set up, so everything is like properties. You added things with properties. I want this to loop, because of course I do. <laughs> uh, yes, speed, sure. All right, so it's just gonna loop. No reason it wouldn't at this point. Let's see. It should loop. It should loop. All right, now I'm gonna run my layout here. So this is gonna open up a browser window. <laughs> That's a way to make a GIF, huh? <laughs> or GIF. <laughs> or a scythe. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is pretty sad dancing and pretty sad drawing so it's all it's all good <laughs> i have a request 
<laughs> Hold it in space. In space? Yes. All That's right. part of the request sheet. I think uh, Oh. you thought of space as well, huh? Oh, what was it? Is it on space? Oh, space? Well, I also put a request in there, but it's oh, on the cool. moon, which is close on the to moon. space. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's got some, sp well, we can make sure, let's, you know what, you know what, let's not, um, hmm, it's a little dark, so what I'm going to do is change his color. Oh, well, Nefron says the, the dancing's awesome, so you <laughs> have, you have made a believer. I have, I have, I'm going to make the, the, make, make our character green. <laughs> I'm sure that's gonna look pretty weird, but what do you think? What do you guys think? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It will it will show up better. Green, actually, green is is a, a a color that we're our eyes are very sensitive or pick up very easily, so that's cool. it'll be easier to see. <laughs> well, that's near where the sun's light peaks. So okay, now I will have to. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is go find an image. Of space, because I'm not going to try to draw space, because space is too awesome for me to try to, to draw. So yeah, I'm going to go to NASA, actually. Are we you know you could just draw a very dark background, space. then pull in a few points oh, like all of this. Space pictures! <laughs> Any opportunity to just look at space pictures. Um, NASA picture. And then to draw the a day. moon, you just make it a crescent. Yep. <laughs> You put a wheel of cheese up there. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's search. Let's go see if we can find moon pictures. Oh, yeah. yeah like one of these high definition pictures in 4K. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're not all like that, but yay. Yeah, okay. Let's see. All right. Holes in the moon. It's, it's kinda, I, I kind of like that, but. Go NASA. <laughs> when you actually go to the moon, is everything reflective? It's got a high albedo, so um, and and from from an astronomer's point of view, I know that's a different thing for game mm -hmm. gaming terms. It's uh, reflectivity, so mm -hmm. it's very re reflective, mm -hmm. which is why it's so bright at night. Right. When the moon's up and full. Oh come on, let's see. I want a good moonscape here, people. I think according to the flat Earth is right. I think it gives off its own light. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Ooh, moon eclipses Saturn. That's pretty cool. But there what's the see? most popular theory as to why the moon exists? Oh right. Oh gosh, I don't know if there's been any recent changes, but there there was like when the Earth was for forming and kind of coming together and still kind of soft and um, something. It collided with another body, and they kind right. of pulled off a bunch of material that ended up. Uh, As I recall the story, like mm -hmm. not only was did the Earth get collided by what eventually became the Moon, but mm -hmm. it got collided by something nearly the size of the. Yeah, Earth. it was about the size of. It was it was a huge collision. Right. And the Moon was literally built with whatever debris was left over from that what? collision. Wow. Oh. Mm. And the reflectivity of the moon is why the pictures from the moon landing have no stars in the sky. Yes, that's why. <laughs> yep. I, I, I'm kind of liking the fact we got Saturn hanging out with the moon over here. Yeah, that's I'm, I, good. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, he's kind of like thinking on the larger moon. <laughs> 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 well, it's really far away, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe something with a little more contrast. Some more craters. We need moon craters. I'm take. I'm gonna take forever just finding just finding pictures of the moon. With we should just take a photo of cheese and then no, <laughs> no. Oh, oh. We could actually do one of Siren's moons. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's well within the definition of a moon. It's a satellite. Think? Yeah. It's an ice moon. That's a shockingly round moon on Saturn. Well, there's a there's a yeah. There, it's just a matter of how big it is. Right. You don't have to be all that huge to. Uh, and and there are you know, Saturn does have some pretty big moons. I mean, look at Titan. Mm -hmm. I wonder how big this one is, but. But yeah. But yeah, you like you can look at the shape and it's like, oh, that's definitely mm -hmm. huge because. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh. crap. Saturn and Jupiter has a lot of moons, and a lot of them are not round. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heck, I mean, round moon is, I mean, look at Mars. Mars has two moons, and neither one of them is round. No. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this one. I like it. Sure. Oh, I remember the one of the moons from what Jupiter is constantly being torn apart because it well like in the insides. Oh yeah, yeah. it's it's got a lot of tectonic activity and it just yeah I it's that was crazy. Kind of crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> I mean, the Earth was like that at some point, wasn't it? I'm glad it's uh, well, still not like that. No, part of it's it's like tidal tidal forces. Oh, um, I see. We're we're not that close to the sun now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Probably a sprite in the, in the layer. So I'm going to add another layer. Oh, and you get infinite layers now too, right? Because it's the... Uh... <laughs> you probably want to actually give names to these layers too. That would probably help, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always telling my students, you, sh you, you know, you want to name your sprites. You don't want to have sprite doing something to sprite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's good marketing for the soda company. I suppose. <laughs> Sprite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the Pepsi company. Uh, while I'm at it, uh, I'm Are you probably... sure Disney doesn't own it? No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to rename this one too. This oh, will be Nefron one. says she's been putting suggestions on the form. Uh oh. So we should have quite a few now. Oh, fantastic. Thanks to Taro's suggestions, my own, and Nefron. Oh, great. Back yes, how are you been making suggestions? They've been ending up on the form. Who knew? I'm going to insert it. Okay. So I've got a background object that I'm going to... Oh, project. All right, this is a little bit different. And then this is how you add a picture. This is how my kids add all kinds of pictures that are, they are, you know, copyrighted pictures to their games. <laughs> Yep, they love that. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Pull it in. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, I gotta do oh, some. Oh, I know what happened. Yep, transparency. Okay, so the game is no. That's oh, do I have UI layers, background. Okay, maybe. Try the game. Game. There it is. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm reading no is yes for some reason. All right, I'm going to need to like zoom out here. <laughs> All right, probably want to make this fit. I want this to fit a little bit better. Oh, okay, yeah. That looks good, right? Yeah, let's yeah. try. Let's try it out. Got my little dancing guy here. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing on the moon. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> huge. <laughs> Well, he's what? obviously extraterrestrial and like, you know, On like Saturday. something from like uh, Star Trek. <laughs> I was just thinking of the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> he's a Jolly Green Giant, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can oh, do like a hide and seek game. <laughs> hide and seek game? Yeah, you're supposed to find a dancing <laughs> thing. Okay. Oh, I'm not get I don't see the responses. Shoot, where'd they go? Oh. Oh wait, Nephron Hunter, have the moon dance. The moon needs to dance now? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> wait, let me just see this. I want a pony. I gave you a pony. I gave you a My Little Pony for Christmas. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. High I school dance, dance off, off on the moon. moon. <laughs> All right. The heat death of the universe. <laughs> oh no, that one's easy. You just have to pull a dark screen on it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it'll just gradually get darker and darker <laughs> as everything gets colder and colder. <laughs> You're so cheerful, not Nephron. <laughs> Make it in space. Nephron has said, um, I'm confused by the lack of technical difficulties on this stream. Well, Maybe the answer to TBS difficulties is, is just have friends do everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask for detail what the technical difficulties are on chat. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> have the moon dance. Okay, let me see whatever it. Whatever are you referring to? So we're going to have the moon dance. So I'm going to need to make it a little bit bigger than the screen <laughs> that we're dealing with. Might also want to make the character... Oh. You could just shape the moon. I know, but I didn't want to like show too much space, white space, you know what I'm... Okay, so let's see, shake the moon. All right, what do I want to... Okay, this is going to be interesting. There's got to be a behavior for that, right? <laughs> hmm. Uh, scroll up. 
It's a turret. <laughs> Let's see. Flash? That's not quite what we want. Um. Hmm. I don't remember. There is there is a shake command. I'm one hundred percent confident mm. about that. Hmm. Search for it. Oh, try search. Sure, I could try. Um, shake. No, I'm not seeing a shake. The problem oh, is, things aren't always the name that you would expect. Oh, so we could do some kind of sign thing. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That, yeah, let's do sign. All right. All right, horizontal, sign, period. Let's... Do we want it to do it fast, or...? Nah. Let, let's see what happens when we do really magnitude. 50? Sure, let's see what happens when we just do this. Let's have the little moon just really... just. <laughs> Come on. Why are you not coming up? Uh, nope, nope. Oh. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I feel like we could get a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. If we, have, if we had more characters, we could tell that the, you know, that the moon was moving. <laughs> Let's just have a bunch of dancing sprites here. All right. And layout, and of course, it's just, it's not. We now have a rhythm game. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's not really very playable right now. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What else could we do with with this? It's sort of this is like dancing. It's more sort of gently like rocking. <laughs> All right. Okie dokie. Let's Is it possible mm -hmm. with the shadow caster to have a shadow that be a different color? Not Never sure. mind. I was thinking about, for whatever reason, strobe light effects. Because oh. that would make the moon um. look like it's dancing, right? <laughs> Probably. I don't want to do too much flashing, though, just in case somebody's watching and they might have issues with flashing. Fair. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do, let's let's up the the thing here. I feel like this is more energetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone say it looks like the uh, the awkward person just swaying at the dance. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's lonely out there. You don't get out to much dance many dances, so I imagine. <laughs> So, does this inspire you to make a specific kind of game for Fika? Uh, I'm still not sure. Um, <laughs> so, we've got a dance-off, though. Mm -hmm. Do, so, how does a dance-off go, actually? Um, Arrivals. And then oh. one dances, and then the other dance. And then whoever is a better dancer yeah. wins. Okay, so, we've got a, so we're doing a two-player game here. Well, it could be a two-player two player game. AI, AI. <laughs> or a two-player and AI. Hmm. It's like uh, a fairly common game that I remember is like you know uh, the computer will input the first three buttons and you need to do a Simon Says, oh. and then you add a button, and then okay, okay yeah, technically after that it has to be a two-player game. But <laughs> it's just a constant adding new buttons and S Simon Says remember what the last set of sequences were. Huh. That's a fairly common mini game. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So what would that involve? <laughs> I had multiple cameras. <laughs> really? I took the liberty there. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, <they're> real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shaders, sure, sure. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Oh, multiple cameras, goodness. You could have written out for Rika's name, Greg. Where? <laughs> Never mind. We're... As I stated, I don't have a computer on me, mm -hmm. so I was not able to make any responses. Have, it's a crawfish. Uh, have a crawfish. <laughs> crayfish, yeah, let's add in a crayfish. Okay, I'm not drawing a crayfish. <laughs> Cray, crawfish. 
<laughs> what am I getting up here? Okay, crawfish. Oh, Pex Arcade, that's good. <laughs> here it is. Um, is this the thing that dances? I well, it's it's alive. Probably I might move oh, around. You could take These that are one all... picture, right? These pictures and just like move the arms and it dances, right? Because you could just crop it and move it. Yeah. So what's the license on this? I don't know. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see. Let, let's uh, creative. Let's go with Creative Commons. <laughs> Commons, not music. Images, crayfish, <laughs> crawfish, crawfish boil. Yes, apparently they they've been having trouble, a shortage of crawfish actually in recent years. It's apparently a crayfish, major thing. Crawfish, crayfish, crayfish, crayfish. crawfish. Ah, uh, that from says one of the ways is correct. I don't know which way, whichever way <laughs> you, were, you were saying. But I forget. Was it crawfish? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Great fishes are kind of adorable. <laughs> 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 I guess. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, let's see. Crayfish. All right. Sea search. There's a blue. Oh, there it is. There's a blue species right there. A blue species? Oh, yeah. Uh, right this well below that. Oh, this, this one? Yeah. I'm in Wikipedia, that sounds... Uh... Oh yeah, we can have a blue... <laughs> Great, we'll, ha we'll now have a blue character. <laughs> After all. Alright, let me just go and take a look and make sure we're, we're, we're all good to use this. Okay, copyright and donated under GFDL. <laughs> I'm not sure... CC by SA sounds like a... Commons license. Create a Commons attribute. Share alike 3.0. Okay. Unported. <clears throat> you are free to share, remix, attribution. You must attribute the work in the manner specified by the author or licensor, but not in a way that suggests they endorse you or use your work or use your use of their of the work. Share alike. If you alter, transform, or build upon this work, you may distribute the resulting work only under the same or similar license to this one. So I have to share this with everybody. Yeah. Okay, I can share everybody. Uh, share it with everybody. Um, I'm gonna want. I don't know if I want the whole picture though. I'm just gonna want the crayfish, but I'm not sure. I, that I should be fairly really simple to cut out. With, uh, we just GIMP. gimp. Yeah. Okay. There's a download all sizes. I'm not waiting. Is that <laughs> advertisement? Hmm? Oh, what? Never mind. Uh. The gulf temperature being low decreases the population and size of the fish. Okay. My university was rationing crawfish boils last year. Yep. They, it's a major cultural thing there to have like crawfish boils where you might have a picnic or something or uh, a cookout. They, they do just crawfish boils. <clears throat> so Correct. what version of GIMP do you have? I have, well, let's see, did, did I update my, my version of GIMP? I've been updating other people's and other computers' <laughs> versions of GIMP. <laughs> I think I have a brand new one I use at work, it's actually, because it's actually pretty mm. handy. All right. It's what, 2.10 now? Mm. Uh, I'm using 2.8. It's probably, yeah, this is not the most recent version I can tell you right now. <laughs> oh, I do not keep my stuff up to date. <laughs> Open. All right. Let's see. Desktop. All my <laughs> stuff. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a pretty clean desktop. Oh, it's a blue lobster. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a blue lobster. Oh well, it's fine. It's close enough. <laughs> so yeah. What What were you gonna do to take clear out the uh, background? What was I gonna do? Um. Hmm. There is. A thing that like smart selects like. It's a magic wand. Right? This does oh, this doesn't always work though. Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's it works much better. It probably worked better like on lines like this. Um, uh, yeah, fuzzy selects probably not going to work. Well, it should get rid of the sand pretty quickly. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's there's a lot of different colors in there. Shift. Oh, shift. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Just keep selecting. Maybe just magic lasso the lobster and cut and paste it on their different one. Uh, and then delve there. I mean, if you obviously if you don't like this method, then we can move on to other things. <laughs> uh, also, so, it's a JPEG, which means it doesn't have an alpha channel. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, huh. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be. Well, we can add add a. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Right. Yeah, add alpha channel right there. Okay. Uh, oh. Cancel for me. Cancel. Yes. Okay. Add. Uh, towards the bottom. Add alpha channel. There, there we, we go. go. So now, when we actually delete something, it should give you a transparency. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Wait, this has already been deleted, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take huge chunks of this out. Yeah, there we might go. want to crop the. Uh, yeah, crop the actual picture. That might be. Uh, crop tool is under the magnifying glass. Oh, um, okay. Crop. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't actually used this in a while. Okay, and then. Enter. Enter. There okay. We go. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I want that antenna to stay in there, so I gotta like delete. Oh no. I'll just take out chunks here, and then we'll deal with the other. The uh, lasso tool is also really useful for stuff like this. Mhm. Mm okay, lasso tool. Right. You can just click. Um, mm -hmm. Then you can create a straight line. Oh, okay. So this is not like the smart one. This is. Yeah. Okay. I do want to like zoom in a little bit. Maybe I can do a bit better. <coughs> now, gonna... mind you, if you hold down your mouse, that gives you a free form tool. So if you want curves and you're feeling confident about your mouse work. <laughs> <laughs> that the, see there there you have. Exactly why I am not doing that. <laughs> yeah, do we really need pixel perfect? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be doing pixel perfect anything, but oh. And then you can hold space to pan. Space? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, cool. I didn't know that short, but... <clears throat> yeah, as it turns out, as someone that uses Photoshop all the time, I know how to use GIMP. That's that's good. <laughs> I actually, I don't know how to use Photoshop. I've never really used it. Or I tried using it once mm -hmm. for something, some project that someone was trying to get help on and it did not go well. It's, it's one of those tools where you hear all the time and you're <laughs> like, oh, I guess it's normal for everyone to know how to use it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I totally feel you, definitely <laughs> I didn't learn. I had to uh, take a class uh -huh. at high school or to learn how to use Photoshop and I did feel very silly for not knowing how to use it. Uh, actually, I think I did try using it in college once because for some reason, I, it was a volunteer thing, um, for some reason this the, the guy was running the program that I was Helping out with, so I thought since I knew how to use computers, I must know Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And I would be able to come up with a presentation for a bunch of kids. <laughs> it, I had fun doing some goofy stuff with it, but I could not tell you how. Like, well, yeah, I was. I don't think it was very educational. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna try to keep these spikes. Probably gonna look very sad, but so uh, when we have the crayfish dance, it's just gonna flip back and forth, right? <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> not gonna individually move each limb. <laughs> I we move it up and down, then have it flip, <laughs> and then up and down, and have it flip. That sounds like a good animation. <laughs> just considering how much effort it is to just cut this thing out, I might we might we can we can investigate um, doing something more elaborate later on. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. 
Oh, it's actually a lot so, easier to see. Right. <laughs> Up there. So you're obviously trying to outline the crayfish right now. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I assume you know how to invert your selection? I do indeed. All right. Yes, I have definitely used that. It's a very useful trick. All right, I'm going to be a little quicker about this because otherwise we'll just be watching me very carefully cut out the crayfish. No, it's great. We're <laughs> talking about your high school experience. <laughs> College. <laughs> not from saying you're not committing to her suggestions. <laughs> to the joy of my suggestions. Not committing to the joy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> Maybe she's made new ones since you've started cutting here. But. Of course she has. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it's all about. This is a very delicate operation. So it is. Here. <laughs> Can't be a... I'm trying to make sure this crawfish looks mm. good. I love that we're on the show. <laughs> she just felt crayfish. I mean, under the suggestions, it's a W, right, and not a Y. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it might be know. a local local dialect thing. She she has been hanging around in. Um, she says that's the way to say it. <laughs> Crawfish. Yeah, well, it's it's New Orleans, so they they you know it's just a dial maybe a dialect thing. Oh. In which case, you know, it might not be the standard spelling, but it's still. I think valid enough. Fair enough. I stand corrected. Yeah, actually, I mean, there are a lot of a lot of linguistic differences in this country. It's kind of <laughs> fascinating. I don't. Get each one of those little teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll feel bad if I if I don't get at least some amount of the detail. Yeah, and I had the big teeth, but then he gave me the small teeth, and I was just thinking, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really putting putting a lot of effort into this, and... We're all very proud of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that uh, sounded sarcastic, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, yes. This is game development, isn't it riveting? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We spent a lot of time on, on the on the images there too, didn't we? Okay. We I'm did. Just, all right. I'm yeah. Not gonna... More searching. But, yeah. yeah. What are the whiskers on a crayfish for? I don't know. I do not know much about crustaceans. My sister might know, but then she'll probably be upset that I like said that because. She does not act, she doesn't do uh I do small marine. lobsters have whiskers. <laughs> it's probably like feelers, like you know, right. another kind of I, I, I don't know <laughs> if I'm actually getting the whiskers right now. I'm gonna get something whisker shaped at least. They're related to spiders, right? I think so. Yeah. Distantly of course, but yeah, nonetheless. I do think they are related, yeah. Of course everything on, on the planet is related. Right. But at least more, more, more closely. closely related than <laughs> a crayfish to a human. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that would be the case. But then again, sometimes you can be surprised about how closely or not closely things are, are related to each other. Some things just tend to take on similar traits. I'm, but so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no. it's <laughs> I'm suddenly reminded of um, the Simpsons episode where Homer decides to uh, raise a pet lobster. I've never seen it. Huh. Long story short, he it, the episode ends with Homer saying like, "Oh, I'm giving my lobster a bath," and the conversation just keeps going on for a while until Bart walks in and he's like, "Hey, something smells good." Oh no. <laughs> and then Homer oh, no. comes to a sudden realization. <laughs> He's like, Pinchy? No, Pinchy! <laughs> oh no. Okay. So I seem to have gotten a good bit of it. I'm going to save a version of it, though, just in case I mess it up. 
Yeah, I think that's actually dirt in the middle there. Yeah, there's some dirt there, so I'm going to call this too. I like to save save them as I go, so I don't... Crawdads. Crawdads, crayfish, crawfish. I don't know. We might trip on one of uh, if we if we ask Chessie about you know how closely related things are based on how close how much they look like each other. We might trip on one of her like rants. <laughs> she, she has a whole biology rant about taxonomy. <laughs> she has opinions. <laughs> kind of funny when she's mad. I say that as, a, as her sister. <laughs> <laughs> what? A human being has opinions? <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> she's my little sister and she has opinions on things. <laughs> and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I have some idea, but not, not as much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to export. Export as Blue Lobster 2 PNG. Hmm. Hey. Export. I'm sure there were a lot of settings and things I could tweak, but yeah. Taxonomy is BS and fake. I reject it until they actually base it on genetics. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the rant, yeah. I think that's the, the, the Cliff Notes version. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have insert new object. And you know, this is not the first animal that um, didn't quite line up to the animal we, we were saying it was. So I'm gonna call it a craw crawfish. Okay. In, in honor of my sister here. <laughs> in solidarity. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, uh, no, not the JPEG. Where's my... Ah, but, but yes, technically spiders and crawfish are more closely related than humans and crawfish. Okay. Oh, I said it's really large. Oh, it is large. Well, that's why you resize it. <laughs> okay. uh, we can probably get rid of the uh, transparency hmm? of the image. Trans or we could try re-exporting this so that oh, it's yeah. something smaller. Because it, mm -hmm. um, long story short, what Construct 2 was complaining was too large for them. Oh. possibly the game to load. Right, okay. I, I will just get rid of our gigantic space, <laughs> space crawfish. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, no. We... Oh, okay, I can, uh, well, I could crop it, though. Right. That would um, be good. Space crawfish! <laughs> there we go. I mean, you could, we could just have the space crawfish show up and, like, take out your people. <laughs> If they're not dancing, if you're not dancing enough, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you drag and drop the crawfish? <laughs> drag and drop the crawfish? Yeah. What would that do? I don't know. <laughs> you could try try attacking the people with the crawfish by dragging and dropping. Like, drop, drop. <laughs> well, the show must go on. The show must go on, yes. That's a great name for this game. The show must go on. <laughs> ah. Slightly less impressive looking, but okay. All right. So, do we want to? If we do want to do um, drag and drop, we're actually going to need to add the um, mouse. Or you know what? Let's add touch too. Let's do that. Then you can play it on online. <laughs> Not that I have a, t a touch screen, but... All right, ready to learn about taxonomy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Taxonomy is the dubious concept of categorizing every little living thing on the planet. But they base it on appearance and an obsession with humans having to be separate from other primates. So they keep coming up with more narrow family. Step above species where we get homo from homo sapiens. There's stuff she doesn't with... like it. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she has opinions. Drag and drop. There we go. We can do drag and drop m m objects by mouse or touch. Add. There we go. Oh, I actually didn't need to add that, do I? Did I? Well, yeah. Anyway, so now we can drag and drop the. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> Arr. 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 I'm gonna eat all of you. Arr. Okay. What? Well, oh. <laughs> You can make a 
cra uh, crawfish dance out. You just shake them crawfish is really, really fat. <laughs> and that gives you points. There we go, yes. <laughs> How, okay, how do we implement that? Just <laughs> this is going to be a really weird game. <laughs> That's okay. That's what this is all about, right? Weird games. Let's see. Um, is dragging? Proof is currently being dragged. There we go. There we go. If, if, if it's being dragged. All right. So we'll, we'll have, um, what are we going to do? We're going to do points? Sure. <laughs> All right. Points. All right, I need to add a variable. Crayfish. Crawfish points. <laughs> All right. And, um, hmm. No, we're going to need more than that because we don't, we don't want every time you just it's probably going to update pretty quickly. Actually, let's just see what happens. <laughs> let's just test it out. <laughs> Add two, next. Um, crawfish points, we'll go one. It'll, yeah. We won't go nuts yet. Yet. <laughs> and of course, we need to add a display for the points. So insert new object. Text. Insert. Oh, there's a Interesting. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I've added that. All right, every and now to add um, text, no, I have, have the text update with the score. Um, oh, right, every tick is up here, isn't it? It's every few seconds that um, it's down there. Um, when you're finished, don't forget to uh, move the text to the proper layer. Oh yes, of course. That's rotate. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I got distracted. No, it's that text. All right, and I'm just going to put the number in. Sure. But uh, crawfish, crawfish points. Okay, done. All right, let's see how, oh, wait, I also need to make sure. There's a few things here. All right, make sure that this is in the right layer. So, right, good point. Thanks, Tara. Also, the, the, of course, I probably should make sure that the UI layer has zero parallax. Sure. What is that going to do? I, I, I don't want to test too many things at once. Um, what is, is it? Okay. Um, can we actually see the text? We can't see the text yet, so gotta click on the, oh, click on the text. Text. And if we want, let's pick, I don't know, I'll go green. Sure. And, and of course you have to be careful because some of these don't apparently apparently don't work and it'll disappear if it's too big. Uh, oh, yes, all right. Let's do this. Make it nice and big. All right. Let's let's see what happens when we when our oh right, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I'm making so um, so many points, <laughs> so many points. <laughs> I was thinking like what we can do is we can keep track of the location of the uh, crawfish, mm -hmm. and then when it exceeds a certain point, mm -hmm. it uh, it increases the points, mm -hmm. and then uh, it stores that next point, right? Oh. Okay, so what were we, what, what were we, oh sorry, I'm on the wrong window it, It's a really silly idea, but I was thinking like a distance-based scoring system where D depending on how far you drag the crayfish, huh. um, it gives you more points. Okay. But like it constantly updates after, you know, ex you exceed a certain threshold mm -hmm. to, um, to uh, change to wherever the crawfish is after it hits the points. Um, but yeah, anyways, what I mean to say is uh, you probably need to add an event where the, uh, we're about to start dragging the crayfish and then we mm -hmm. store where the X and Y location of the crayfish is. Or mm -hmm. well, we could do when you like click on it. Right. But that might be something. There is a begin, begin drag. 
Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. All right. Yeah. On drag start. There we go. Done. And then we can store the x and x and y of the crawfish. Okay. So I actually should create two variables, right? Last x or Keep trying to do that instead. Last y. y. Okay. And then add action. Crawfish. Next. Oh, wait. Cancel. Wait. That's not what I want. I'm doing it backwards. System. Um, set, set value. Right. Crawfish. Last x is the crawfish x. Yarr. Yay! And then crawfish no, back. Set value. It's right there in front of me. And I just did it too. That's alright. So how's the chat doing? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, saying, uh, okay. talking about ants. Ants? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, apparently <laughs> calling it in your nose is how you get ants. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we could talk about that off the stream. <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> And then when you're doing the drag, uh, drag, it, mm -hmm. drag and drop is dragging, uh, we mm -hmm. can add another condition. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, another condition, yeah. So you'll have to cancel that for oh, a minute. Cancel, oh, yep, that's right, yep. Um, uh, add another condition. Right. And uh, X, or compare variable? I think variable. there's, yeah, compare, what's a system? Compare variable, yeah. yeah. Um, last. X. Mm, that's not what I was thinking. Oh. Try going back. Mm -hmm. there, I think there's a compare or expression or something. Compare. Well, we can try searching for compare. Uh, if I can spell compare. Compare two values, perfect. Okay, yeah. Next. Uh, and then there should be a distance formula. A distance formula. Uh, you can go to system. Uh, there's a transparent mode. Oh, oh back. okay, next. Oh. Yeah, there system. Right there. All right. right. Distance, okay. Hmm. Uh, search it. Distance, yeah. Okay. There it is. Calculate the distance between two points. And we just need to replace the x and the y values with where the crawfish is right now versus where we had it last. So. Okay, so. Last, all right, so this will be last x yeah. and last y. Hey, guess what? Hey, everyone, guess what I do as a usual day job? <laughs> Calculate distance. Uh, crawfish. X. Sometimes. <laughs> it's not a bad guess. <laughs> and y. Then equal to yeah equal to or greater greater than or equal to so let's see this isn't pixels what's a good good amount <laughs> twenty twenty sounds as good as any mm, let's and see then, and then we need to set the last x and the last y to a new value after we increase one to our crawfish points oh uh, I was curious what will happen now so te oh testing out our Right, it's increasing on every frame because, um, mm -hmm. no. yeah, it's increasing on every frame because the distance exceeded 20 pixels. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I was to just click it and then I click and then just not move it around, would it right. actually? Right, in theory, <laughs> nothing should happen. Well, let's see, let's see what happens. I'm curious. All right, I'm just going to keep, I, I keep needing to bring this, this little guy up here. Okay, so click. Uh-huh, yeah. 
So actually, 20 is a fairly small number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 is a bit small. <laughs> so. so we can use the Sid Meier method. The Sid Meier method goes as follows. Double the va if it's too small, double the value. If it's too, or if it's too large, uh, half the value. Okay. Throughout the process, if you get to a point where, you know, let's say it's too small, and then you double the value, and then it's still, uh, and then it's now too large, then you choose the number between the value that you had last time and the current value that you've given it. Mm -hmm. So you kind of constantly have to mm -hmm. the best balancing point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so, at zeros. <laughs> it's it's a dance party with a with a with a moon <laughs> and a crawfish. <laughs> By the way, everyone, Patrick. Right. Uh, you you can blame Nephron for a part of this. <laughs> Chat, give Patrick a digital applause. Please do not. <laughs> Yay! Yay! The crawfish is going to dance for you. <laughs> I feel like forty might be a little small anyway. We want some real good dance moves here. Or all right, time with the biology trivia here. We have biology <laughs> fact. We have actually made a new species of flies in the labs uh, that work with. Yeah, okay, let me reread that sentence. We have actually made a new species of flies in the labs that work with them because they have been isolated for almost a century now, and the genetic changes in wild fruit flies has actually made it so lab fruit flies can no longer reproduce as wild fruit flies. Huh. Wow. <laughs> so they just have a different concept of romance, does it? Well, a lot of times. All right. We all knew fruit flies were a little fruity. <laughs> um, when you put them in the lab, they just yes. be a little more loony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we wanted to re reset it so that you have to keep keep shifting uh, under the drag. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not the drag start but under the drag command. Oh. So you um, right under add one point to the crawfish points. Mm -hmm. You'll oh. then add, uh, copy and paste those set last x and set last y actions. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I meant copy and paste literally. Oh, uh, yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Copy. Can be a bit of a pain sometimes, though, I found, but. Oh, you copied that. What? Oh, I copied that. Okay, yeah. That's, that doesn't help. <laughs> All right, paste. Yeah, okay, that works. All right. So now you constantly have to, I've got to stop having to hold this. And ah, yeah. now it's, it's a much more reasonable point paste, yeah. <laughs> what is this actually supposed to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're making it up as we go along here. <laughs> Okay, what is it? You want to check the suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go take let's a look see. at the suggestions now. No, no, just tell me what it's doing. It's okay. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a long time coming. Okay, we, we, we are basically, you have to make the crawfish dance. <laughs> okay, so and that gets points. points. What? What is causing the points here? Well, when you're far enough away. So. Uh, what, what happens is it's, it's storing your location. Mm -hmm. And if you get far away, away enough, enough away from your last location where you've made a point, you've, you've scored a point, um, you, uh, you, you score, uh, score another point, but then you have to keep moving away from the points. So you have to keep moving in order to keep the, the, ah, cool. the points going. So you gotta keep, keep, keep it going. <laughs> Wee! And this is probably like the best way to play the game. <laughs> do it in a circle. <laughs> Just do it in a circle. <laughs> I think I like your idea of like grabbing somehow the dancing 
<laughs> figures, but I haven't figured out like a, I haven't figured out an encouraging reason as to why you want to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Other than you know eating them, but you know. <laughs> you want to knock them around? Physics-based solutions. Like those little <laughs> oh. No, well, no, they. It's the, a the, dance off. This there is was a brawl. A, yeah, there was a request for a romantic subplot. <laughs> there oh. was. <laughs> Have a romantic <laughs> sex. Seriously? Oh gosh. Not Nephron Hunter. I want a pony. You, Nephron Hunter, I know it's you. <laughs> I think the, the not have oysters, okay. <laughs> oh goodness. Be proud of yourself. Include an oyster now. Why would we. Maybe after scoring a point, there's mm -hmm. a random probability of oysters being dropped. <laughs> oh, then you have to co collect the oysters? Yeah. Okay, we'll get some dancing oysters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing ideas. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's make the craziest, let's make a game crazier than the chinchilla game. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were going to do it, but we seem to be on track. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, oysters, creative commons. Oh my god, creative oysters, creative commons, oyster, there we go. Okay, oh, wow, okay, we've got different kinds of oysters. What ones do we like? Ah, this one looks I nice. Didn't even know there was, I mean, aren't they? <laughs> Well, Just remember how long it took to cut out the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's a good one for the background. Yeah. It's got seaweed on it. <clears throat> Which, of course it would, since it's in space, you know? Space oyster. Space seaweed? <laughs> space weed. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> we knock them off that. Actually, I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> Now let me just take a look, look here. Uh, lots of oysters people are eating. I don't know. Wait, it doesn't make sense if oysters, because it's like a lobster or a crawfish. What do crawfish eat? We should have something. Crawfish, crawfish. usually eats fish. Mm. <clears throat> Not something with a shell. <laughs> no. Huh. No, but there are some ugly fish in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> game. Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, let's see, what, what kind of fish? Oh, we should look up taxonomy and see what's the closest relative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, troll my sister, that'd be awesome. <laughs> what uh, is it called? An angry yeah, we can base fish? the schools based on that, based <laughs> on their taxonomy. <laughs> Ang oh, ang ang angler fish or something? Yeah, angler it's fish? Like ugly, right? Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. angler fish. Perhaps I misspelled it. Angler. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, it did all correct as angler fish. That's true. Angler fish. Angler fish. The fish. You can also search for deep sea marine or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Google images. It's hard to take pictures of them though. Probably just ugly fish. Ugly Google. fish. <laughs> <laughs> ugly scary fish. That's our illustration. So okay, we've got the right. Oh, well, we got it. Oh, she. Nephron found it at Wikipedia. She she like did a chat. Aww. I don't know how to switch over. This this does look kind of cute. I I'd feel bad. <laughs> like a little baby dragon. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, we're getting pictures linked in the chat, so that's an ugly looking fish. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's less cute. <laughs> Strangest dance off ever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. Huh, so, so do we want them to pick this up? Mm. 
I don't know. Kind of scary. <laughs> Are we actually trying to be so accurate <laughs> on what a crawfish eats? By I somehow <laughs> don't think that they're eating anglerfish. <laughs> just, just as, a, as a thought here. <laughs> I don't think so. so. So can someone look up what ang uh, crawfish actually eat? <laughs> what kind of fish? <laughs> and uh, we can look up that. <laughs> Meadows? Hmm? Minnows. Minnows? But this is a space crawfish. Oh, that's... Lettuce? Uh, pet crawfish? Algae? Yeah. Shrimp? Shrimp? We could do shrimps. <laughs> fish pods? Well, that's... They don't find that in the wild. Wild fish. <laughs> oh, we could do a little shrimp. Shrimp. Okay. I want uh, a living... That is definitely a shrimp. It is, but I'm going for, like... <laughs> A living shrimp, and then we, they can dance too. This dancing just looked kind of weird to me anyway. Do we have a live shrimp? Shrimps in art. Cleaner shrimp? Probably not the correct type of shrimp. <laughs> they can eat space cucumbers. Space cucumbers? Oh. Suggesting from Nefra. Oh, space, space cucumbers. Cute. So probably sea cucumber, right? But then in space. <laughs> it's ocean life in space. <laughs> I mean, space is pretty close to ocean. <laughs> I kind of want like a Google search for sea cucumbers. Like, there's some really, really strange sea cucumbers. I'm sure there are. I'm just concerned. I'm not sure what my safe search settings are. So. <laughs> <laughs> I want some multicolored sea cucumbers. Well, we could. Okay. What's so, the sea cucumber that kind of like does this weird vacuum mouth? Thingy? This one looks funky. Oh yeah, that one looks funky. Yeah. What, what kind is it? We can try try looking looking it up. It's images in the public domain. Oh, that's good. Let's see if we can find more of this particular. Is that the name right there? The comment. Hmm. Californicus. Yes. All right. It is probably a cucumber that you don't want to actually touch. Given probably. Its bright color. Well, that's kind of how it works, and with frogs, right? Right. And insects. I don't know. I'm not sure how I can cut out. Come on, sea cucumber. Work with me here. Don't get covered in seaweed. <laughs> this is a good one though. This would be a really good colorful one. I remember watching a Japanese show about um, you know, a professor on sea cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. they demonstrate the absolutely uh, sanitary and not at all disgusting demonstration of rubbing a sea cucumber up and down until it spills all its guts out. Okay. <sighs> but um <laughs> But okay. one philosophical. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Does that kill it? No. No. It it, it's so, it's so. Its body structure is so simple that it can regenerate all of its guts just fine. Wow. Um, and so, as a, as a form of defense, it literally spits out guts on That's, its enemies. Wow. That's. That's quite a defense right there. Right. I'm gonna keep going back and see if we can find another kind of sea cucumber. Anyways, the reason why I brought that up at all is because the show provides a very philosophical question, yep. which is a sea cucumber, for all intents and purposes, is very simple. Its life is search for dirt and eat. <laughs> if you know, and it's kind of happy with having such a simple life. Mm -hmm. If that's all it takes to have happiness, is it so necessary for our life to be so complex to enjoy mm -hmm. life as it is? So, I don't know. I, I Right now I'm making a game <laughs> <laughs> about, um, with, with my sister who is in, in New Orleans, <laughs> um, about, about sea cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're sea um, cucumber with scallions! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this one looks fun. Oh, ooh. Okay, I'm going with it. This looks like a space creature all on its own. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> What's the license? We should double check the license. You're right. 
uh, share alike. It's basically the same thing as yep. before. Yep, yep, <clears throat> so we're good. Yes, at TVGS, we care about uh, copyright. copyright and respecting copyrights. Same image as. So when I post this, I will be posting, posting links to it. Fortunately, everything's on the uh, video here, so I can find it again. All right. Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> Back to g GIMP. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where Where is our... Yeah. Where, where did it go? The oh. sea apple. There you go. Sea apple. Uh, yeah, convert it. Convert. Okay. All righty. This one, yeah, I'm not going to be too careful. There are a lot of little bits here, but I'm not, I don't want to lose them, so I'm just going to... All right. Do. Okay. So, um, yeah, the spike. <laughs> sea I'm cucumbers are really strange creatures. Yeah, I mean, uh, sharks can vomit up their guts too, but they, they swallow it back, right? Frogs yeah. can too, as well. It's interesting mm -hmm. creatures that can do that. Gosh. We have, like, I guess all we have is our brain for our superpower. Well, it's a pretty good superpower. It's <laughs> gone <this> pretty far. <laughs> look, look, we have time as a species to sit here at a table and um, just do do this. This is not exactly survival related. <laughs> I mean, That's we're true. doing pretty well in terms of having extra time on our hands. I do I'm, not spend that much time concerned about whether or not I'm going to be able to eat. I mean, at least we'll do, but. Sorry. I'm curious what the purpose of sharks throwing up their guts are about because at least for um, frogs, that's a function to literally wash out their stomach. Hmm. I think it's similar when they can't digest something. Oh yeah, they, they like get all kinds of weird. plates and things. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, you know, a frog actually uses its own amphibian hands to wash its stomach. Oh, oh that is, <laughs> that's like horror movie <laughs> stuff. <laughs> It's like body horror. And then swallows it. Also, yes, I did watch a video <laughs> where a frog does precisely that. Frogs are actually terrifying. Have you? Oh, I mean, shoot. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you can hold the shift button, remember? Shift? shift? What, 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 what? See that plus sign when you hold shift? Uh -huh. That means it's an additive selection. Okay, so like this? No, wait. So you just have to uh, select, and it'll it'll be an additive shape, as in like it'll combine those two shapes together. Oh okay, I'm not. Oh, I I, I've me I me messed this up though. Um, escape. Escape. Oh okay. All right, so I just keep holding shift. Well, if you want to think about it philosophically, I guess the frog sees more of its own being than a person will. <laughs> right? You can live your whole life without saying most of what makes you, you. That, and the that, frog can see itself. It's, that's true. I think, hey, uh, I'll leave that to the frog. <laughs> <laughs> the frog have that uh, particular luxury? <laughs> Benefit? Oh, apparently our superpower is pain tolerance. Ability really? Ability to stand upright, to see over tall grass, and to just keep moving for a really long time. Yeah. I feel like excellent. none of that is being demonstrated right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I've, I've sat in front of a computer all day, and I'm continuing to sit in front of a computer. <laughs> We're excellent walkers. We have mm -hmm. exceptional endurance when it comes to walking. Mm -hmm. we, we don't run very fast. No. <laughs> but we can we can walk for a very long time, and a lot of uh, hypothesis on how uh, yeah, humans hunted back in the day was literally stalking an animal until it became exhausted. Hmm. Huh. Which is... But these are all stuff that I read on the internet, and as the wise old Abraham Lincoln said, don't <laughs> trust everything you read on the internet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, yeah. Yeah, well, he was, Lincoln was pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knew his stuff, clearly. <laughs> that is genuinely one of my favorite 
memes. <laughs> <laughs> Just Abraham Lincoln saying, like, don't trust everything you read on the internet. <laughs> 1880-something. I'm going to stop doing this for a moment. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are some good Lincoln memes <laughs> out there. I think there's one where, like, he's got, like, it's, like, the caption is, like, steampunk. That's Yeah, it's pretty much like that. It's, like, Lincoln with, like, a, a steampunk, uh, like, gun arm or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and we make friends with other species. Our best superpower is recruiting dogs to protect us during the night. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that is, that. while a fairly rare ability, I would argue ants has beaten us on that. Oh mm. yeah, with the uh, aphids. Yeah. And oh, also uh, cultivating fungus. Though I don't know if that they they cultivate fungus apparently. I remember reading about that. Well, we have the unique <clears throat> we have the uniqueness of being number one on we take the longest to raise as kids. That's um, true. That's because our heads are so big. We right. apparently can't fit inside a, another person past a certain point. So we, <clears throat> we have to come out early. Oh, no. I, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, like, we, we literally parent our kids the longest amongst any other uh, animal. Well, yeah, that's like, because we, we're the most immature <laughs> right. out of, uh, like, the, our, our closest relatives. We're very immature because we have such big brains mm -hmm. that we we have to come out before we're really properly mature compared to uh, ah, you know, nearest relatives. So we need that extra parenting. And so, yeah, there's a benefit to getting all that help. See, getting help from people is, is uh, you know, a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, culture, knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's always amazed me, like, uh, it's those animals, well, like cows or something, maybe cows are already walking by the time they, yeah. they just, you know, they pop out and then they're running, like, yeah. it, less than an hour later. Yep. Uh, yeah. Crazy, how quickly they grow. <laughs> yep, but it's, it's to their detriment, <laughs> clearly. Uh, we're definitely the best. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, that species. Huh? Yep. I, I think we have members of our community. What, who would disagree with you there? Um, in terms of. Well, well we are smart enough. To to go wrong. That happens. <laughs> we're smart enough to know we suck. We're smart enough to question whether or not we're, we suck, yeah. <laughs> I very much doubt most animals consider what their larger impact on the world is. Reconsider the philosophy of the sea cucumber, though. <laughs> is being smart a good thing, quote unquote? I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying being smart. I'm having fun with my sister, <laughs> 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 even though she's not here. So that's kind of a cool thing. There's a lot of, <laughs> lot of intelligence that comes behind that, and not, not intelligence from people I will never, never meet. Like an accumulation. OK. So now you'll have to actually close that to your previous thought, so you okay. hold space to kind of pan. Right. All right. Go back to my... Where? Oh, okay. It's there. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Now... So you didn't have to redo the whole thing. Nice. Invert. And then... Uh, everyone's saying she's having oh, wait, fun before, with this. Oh, wait. Before... Okay. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. go back to your layers. Right. Layers. Hmm? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a layer tab. It has a little picture. Oh, no. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then we need to write one. Is uh, this not the layers tab? I don't know. Oh, oh, I know what happened. Keep tapping left, the arrow. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. There it is. There we go. And now we need to add our Apple channel because this is JPEG. Yep. And JPEGs don't have Apple channels. Yes. <clears throat> All right, I think this is good enough. This this looks like almost like Lovecraftian here, right, Pat? Yeah. This looks like a shrimp. <laughs> yeah, it does. I don't know what shrimp that. <laughs> yeah, honestly. All right. So. I wouldn't eat that. I usually eat shrimp, but if I saw shrimp like that, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna have all this stuff here. You have not yeah, seen. Yeah, I think I'm with you. <laughs> you have not seen the shrimp I had to eat. Not just kidding. <laughs> right, you grew up in like a. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty meaty. It'd probably be a filling meal, but I don't 
uh, yeah, I just I don't know that if you die afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Taro did it, so I'm probably safe <laughs> in that regard. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, and then and Ephron has uh, been having fun with the suggestions, so I think she would like of to remind you to check them out. Of course. You know, um, <laughs> okay, cucumber. It's cucumber. Can I spell Lovecraft cucumber? Lovecraft was in the ocean state? What's the ocean state? What does that mean? Ocean state? Uh, is she referring to Rhode Island? Because that's the... Oh, um, an actual state. O- ocean, no, ocean state is... R- Rhode Island is... Uh, that's the... The state nickname? <laughs> ocean what? state. It's more ocean than it is state. No, uh, no, no, it's got so much coastline, so yeah. So we grew up in Rhode Island, actually, so. Um, she is referencing that, I think. I All right. see. <laughs> I don't I'm know. So well, I didn't know yeah. it was the Ocean State. And uh, I yeah. how to deal with that new information. <laughs> but yeah, Love, Lovecraft was, he, he, uh, he lived in Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. another kind of it all, all fits, yes. <laughs> well, that kind of looks good as a top of each other. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the lobster hat. Okay, so we're... And let's let's give it a dance. Oh. <laughs> so we do like, rip the lobster open and that comes out. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... Whoa. Well, let's try. We can make a dance, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. All right. Let's see. Um, how do I want to make a dance? I'll just make it. You'll flip. probably want to resize the image a little bit. I okay. Think. All right. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I take back what I said. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Oh. So you're gonna wiggle all the things there for the dance? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do little things. Yeah. All the little things. <laughs> Oh, and I can see the bottom ones, too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> I think that would look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if I could pull it off, it probably would look pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I'm going to, okay, first of all, okay, no, first thing first. I'm going to actually delete this. I'm going to resize. Resize. Oh, Line top left. And I'm going to go. Six, and, right, that's width, right? Oh, and then I can bounce around. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking to myself a little bit. Okay, so now we have a little space for a little guy to, to move around. Right. And then I can just select him. Or her? It? Mm-hmm. Is there... I don't know. Do, do I think sea cucumbers do have a gender. Am I wrong? I don't know. Uh... Cucumbers. Or are they, uh, or is it like slugs? Were they like hermaphrodites? Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a good Maybe question. they are. I don't remember. Okay, what I'm going to do is. Um, no, that doesn't help. We're learning so much about an- the animal kingdom, is it? <laughs> <laughs> actually. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's actually quite impressive, I think, that we, we, we are learning so much. <laughs> Yahoo answers, and the best answer is, for some reason I want to say they're asexual, but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer. It's not even an answer. <laughs> yeah, it's not an answer. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I could be wrong. Wait, I thought I'd move this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really weird. I don't know what's doing. Oh. Huh. Try, when you move it, try hitting enter. Okay. So do the mm-hmm. usual marquee action again. Okay. Yeah. Sea so cucumbers are usually divided into distinct sexes, oh, but okay. hermaphrodites can exist throughout the different species of them. And then hit enter. Enter. Okay, maybe that's what I was doing wrong then. Yeah, it looks like that's all it took. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I actually haven't done too much with animation. Yeah. I'm going to 
little bit of a dance thing going on. Enter. All right. And right, there's an animation settings. I want it to loop. Yes. Okay. Well, let's make it a little. I'm going to see what happens if I make it faster. Uh, let's go eat. All right, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is pull this in here just so we can see it. Oh, see. All right, run my out. <laughs> this is a dance for the ages. <laughs> Absolutely. Now we need to figure out where to put our crawfish. It, it can't be stuck on the bottom of the screen. Nobody's going to know this is whiskers. Yeah, true enough. We never figured out what the point of the whiskers are. Quick, internet. I think there must be fillers. Like internet, most whiskers are kind of yeah. like feelers to like t t test out your your environment here. All right, I think we need to make things smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, has John or or Taco Pill or <laughs> anyone uh, sh anyone on the chat that. Um, <laughs> okay. So no, I'm uh, not friends on the chat now. Okay. I'm not friends myself. Okay. She's made new suggestions. Of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Oh Does my! Oh. Have a question? Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Include space There's seaweed. A, wait, sea cucumber provided the suggestion. <laughs> sea cucumber, <laughs> Captain Simeon in the space. Now I'm pretty sure that is still under copyright or, or, or something. That's that's actually a really. Does anyone know that cartoon? It no, was a very no. it was a very short lived cartoon that I, it, in the 90s. Is this something only your family's familiar with? I might be. I'm is surprised Jesse knows about it. How do you know Jesse knows about it? Um, I am guessing sea cucumber is Jesse. <laughs> Ethanol and fire. Okay, no burning things. I know. I know well, that doesn't make I don't any think sense. She's suggesting we actually burn things. <laughs> I think she's suggesting particle effects. Clawfish could get bonus point when it tangos. Okay, I think I think we're uh, we're, we're we're done here with the suggestion. <laughs> Night. <laughs> tango. How do I even do a tango? <laughs> Can we have the crayfish uh, when you're dragging and dropping? Uh, <laughs> the crayfish turns around when you're moving it to the right. Yeah, I'd like to do that too. Let's let's do that. That's a great idea. That's a great <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> so here's what the antenna do. Olfactory receptors on the antenna bind to free-floating molecules such as water vapor and odors including pheromones. The neurons that possess these receptors signal this binding by sending action potentials down their axons to the antenna lobe in the brain. From there, neurons in the antenna lobe connects to mushroom bodies that identify the odor. The sum of the electrical potentials of the antenna to give order can be measured using an electron or something or another. Oh, so, okay. in other words, it's a nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Interesting. That actually makes sense. Mm. Cool. We are, we are learning so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would never have thought we would be learning about the, the you know, animals. <laughs> well, that means we've got to include more animals. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Super evil plan. All right, so I've got to figure out how to do this because normally what I do when is when you press the button, it mirrors the image. So we need an event that I'm hoping to to do something that doesn't require a lot of uh, thinking. But isn't it? Can you just compare x directions and then if it's going? Well, it doesn't really do x. We might we might but we might, but we might have to do is compare. Um, X. Um, we might need a new variable that checks to see which where the X direction is, and then which every time to last, right? Mm -hmm. If it's going left or right, you right. Just compare it to the last. If it's greater than or smaller. Now remember, the last doesn't uh, right. update until you actually right. drag it far enough. So which, so to be fair, may be enough. So it may be worth like, it may be worth under. Mm. that uh, condition to add sub conditions mm -hmm. uh, 
that checks to see what you know whether the x is greater than the last x or whatever mm -hmm. um let's see uh, so now once we set it obviously the comparison doesn't work anymore but i'm mm -hmm. thinking like um yeah. we create a few sub events after that uh mm -hmm. embedded inside that first event mm -hmm. um and yeah. then the last action is set last x set last y Mm -hmm. But uh, the first two events are checks to see if the last x is greater than crawfish x, kind of thing. Yeah. That's that's what I would do. Of <laughs> course, this is your game, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> hmm. I'm sex? already backseat. <laughs> backseat driving. programming a bit here, yeah. But uh, <laughs> you just made it set mm -hmm. always, and then you could have it still do all these things, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. as long as you're dragging. I mean, that's what I mean, always. Well, if... Instead of just clicking, right? Right now, it's just click, and then it just sets it? No, right now, what, what happens is, um, what we're, we're trying to do is flip it so that it's facing the direction it's it's moving in. So, right now, he just sort of... So, we want it to flip like this. You know, this is so much more dynamic, you know, back and forth like this. Um, of course, we could have just have it randomly just going back and forth, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's not really as fun. No, no, it wouldn't be quite as fun because it wouldn't feel quite as, it wouldn't give you quite the feedback that mm -hmm. you might probably want, so. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> worth making a new global variable instead of mm -hmm. last x, like, mm -hmm. or, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, but mm -hmm. yeah, as Greg said, like, it just checks to see, mm -hmm. um, it just checks every tick or whatever, like, whether that value is less than or greater than. Yeah, so... That sounds that sounds good. Um, it does like, actually. Mm -hmm. Now that I think of it, it, doesn't even require the every tick condition because everything mm -hmm. is parsed together on every tick, anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's do ch check check. Can I? Yeah, I can't spell check X, right? Sure. All right. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna have it be zero. Um, oh, X is the root. About yeah, add new event. Add new event. And, and this time we can actually compare variables. Yes. <laughs> Pair variable, check x, and now we're going to want it. Is it. If it's greater than, that means it's facing right, right? Yeah. Greater, greater than, greater than. Yeah, let's just yeah. do greater than. Um, greater than crawfish. Okay. Well, no, excuse me. If the, cra if the crawfish x is greater than x. Oh, crawfish? Oh, it's less than, right. Right. I'm getting a little bit... Okay. And then uh, we can then add an action to set the crawfish to be mirrored. Mm-hmm. Uh, why am I... Oh, set mirrored. Yep, there it is, set mirrored. Um, so we'll set that to be mirrored. Do we, we want need to check the X too? We need to set the check X too. Check, oh, oh right, set check X, right. Uh, right, set value. Check X to... All right, so check X. You can then, probably just copy and paste that line and then flip the direction <laughs> and flip the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. No, wait, no, not that event. Cancel. Uh, uh, no. What does it show? Please. The guy has four guns. And he has Space Monkey Show. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Captain, yeah, Captain Simeon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a fun show, actually. Sad that show was so short-lived. <laughs> I'm sure that's that's what everyone will, will say when they watch it. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> no reason they would not. No, <laughs> it was it was a it was not a shame, but it was yeah it was. Uh, I think I've got the setup right. Yeah, that looks right to me. Well, let's let's test it out. Yeah, just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's going quick. It seems to be okay. How does yeah. it feel? We may Seems want good. to align it to origin. 
because it does. I think the it's taking the whiskers into account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Well, we yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it does kind of fluff around a little easily, but yeah, I'm dancing. Oh, wait a minute. If we flip though, as long if we flip, it actually automatically kind of. No, maybe not. It does. I was thinking it was like making it easier to play. There's a lot of motion on this screen. <laughs> has uh, has anyone seen Colin's bear? And no, I swear this is actually a safe for work YouTube video. <laughs> Colin's what? Colin's bear. I haven't seen Colin's bear. Bear. So um, I'm, I'm I'm suddenly reminded of Colin's bear. Because uh, Colin's bear became a meme after a bunch of, so, excuse me, I should probably clarify. So Colin's bear is um, a final project from, of course, a college student, animation college student named Colin, uh, who was learning web animations. Um, <laughs> but the, the, the teacher was so bad, <laughs> he's like, I felt like, I felt like all it was was just reading a textbook when it was supposed to be about learning how to do, you know, 3D animations. So, on his final project, he made the video Colin's Bear, which which <laughs> marked all the checkboxes on what the at what the animation uh, homework asked for. <laughs> and you just have to see the results to believe it. Like you need to know the actual context to realize, oh, this is a result from a really bad curriculum <laughs> at college to really appreciate the <laughs> terribleness of the animation. <laughs> and it's like six seconds long, so it's like worth actually worth watching. I look at the cons there. Nephron has a serious moment here. She has, if you had foot positions guides for dance steps, Oh. You could have the crawfish score when it makes it to the correct points and then decrease the amount of info on the guides. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> that crawfish is really into it. <laughs> <laughs> so so is the, uh, the sea cucumber there. Right? <laughs> the sea cucumber is grooving. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a tutorial, even though we haven't made an objective yet. <laughs> we have points. It's good. <laughs> it's fine. We just keep making points. <laughs> oh, maybe it's it's a dance off between you and the sea cucumbers. That's what it is. Holy crap! Oh, this could be a cookie clicker game. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm making a better cookie clicker game. Yeah. <laughs> dare. Fantastic. No, it's a dance off. See, we do a dance off. But yeah, we could we could set it up. So this could particular be, points exactly. This could just be like you you buy more creatures to dance and give you more points every ten seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> we don't have a lot of room for this stuff. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> and part of that is because I okay. There we go. Wait, where'd you go? Okay, there you went. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, you dance off. You dance off against sea creatures. It's a sea creature in, in space dance off. <laughs> and then you have your your your, your bystanders. Here we go. And they're yeah inspired by XKCD because <laughs> of course they are because it's space. <laughs> what? So yeah, we've got our we've got our little yeah we've got to do our dance stuff and we get we get yeah we have a tutorial that'll be great. That's a really good idea, Nephron. <laughs> I'm still bothered by the central origin with our All right. with our crawfish. We can move the origin, can't we? Yeah, you just have to double click the crawfish. I'm, I mean, I know you already knew. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. I know you can add like uh, image points. I haven't actually done a lot with the origin, so let's see. So where's so we want to put it more in the like center here? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. The abdomen. Like the abdomen, mid, middle, mid section here. Yeah, that yeah. seems good. Let's let's t see what it looks like now. All right. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit better. 
Yeah. Come on, Patrick. You're not getting into the spirit of things here. No, no. <laughs> no you can way. play this right now in a setup. So we have touch touchpad. You could touch touch screen capability. You could play this on your um, tablet over there. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually probably the first game I've ever made that could be played on a tablet, so. <laughs> <laughs> or at least, yeah, has the controls built in. Cool. Okay. So the next thing to implement. Oh, goodness. <laughs> are, are dance steps. <laughs> are you going to be random based or are you going to be set? Ooh, that's a good point. You could randomly spawn, like places where you have to like reach reach them and they could be like sprites you know that you have to like <laughs> mm. or we could actually design it based on like actual dances though I don't know many dances that are done by lobsters or crayf cray crayfish uh, crawfish crayfish also I'm going to save yeah. <laughs> yeah, both have their pluses and minuses. Hmm. We could have like different modes, like one one mode where it's like random, and then there's the one that's particular dance. So we need to figure out what kind of dance dances we want to pick then. So I guess we is, are there dance. Um, well, the advantage is just <laughs> make your own dances. Then we can choose music that goes with the dance. That's <laughs> true. If it's random, it's harder to do that. Right? That's true. That Just to mm -hmm. double check um, so that I'm on the same page. Your plan was to pull in like footprints or <laughs> something to that mark. Something, something so, footprint. Yeah, right, we, to I collide that right into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do that. All we'll do is just a regular little sprite, and we'll be like, you know, I don't know. I'll call it a foot. <laughs> It doesn't, it, but you know, it can be just a round circle thing because after all, it's, you know, it could be, a, I mean, I don't know what, they, they just have little pointy things at the bottom, right? It's just like their, their feet aren't really feet shaped like ours, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was thinking you can just pull in like a dog paw. A dog paw, okay, that works. Which is fairly simple to draw. You just draw a weird hill like shape and then uh, three circles. Well, there's something that identifies it as a footprint. Yeah. Though I, I don't know, um, let's see, let me try 100, let's see. So for people who are asking a question, why the heck did I use dog prints for my switches? It's to let you know that you can step on it. Mm -hmm. What switches? Uh, in my, in my games. Oh. Huh. That's nice. Yeah. Are you calling everybody a dog? No. But the symbol does have a meaning, is what I mean to say. That, probably something Plus a little more know. symmetric, <laughs> but... Alright, nope. No, wrong. I was clicking on the wrong one. Here we go. I mean, it's a... It's <laughs> <laughs> you can now flip now it I'm not so sure. <laughs> 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 what I was going to say was, you can try erasing the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, it's yeah. just a single circle on the bottom right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this? What? <laughs> that, yeah, that looks a little better. Well, we're getting foot okay. guides linked in chat, so <laughs> this should be helpful. Uh, Question mark. I don't know. If this, I don't know if this looks very obviously a foot guide. Yeah, that's uh, that's Google search. I just I don't know if this looks very obviously like like something you do. Oh, I I, I want to put my foot there. Yeah, uh, yeah maybe it the, could be like alien architecture. Just kind of like in space and stuff. Maybe you can just uh, superimpose a transparent crawfish. Oh, okay, yeah, just use the, the reuse the image. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and, well, fine, yeah, okay. And just make it transparent. That's a, that's a good idea. Uh, let's see, where's, where's my crawfish? Which is right here, of course, okay. Imported oh. image is very large, this image. <laughs> <Every> size. <laughs> So, oh gosh, what size did I go with eventually? I forget. Uh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, you might want to do that for the original crawfish as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me just. Uh, oh, no, no, that's not what I want. Crawfish. What size do I have? Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't exactly have a small size, so let's see. Um, well, have it. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to have it, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay. I'm trying to, try to do this in my head, and for some reason it's difficult. So let's see, 552, right? Okay. There we go. Yeah, all right. And then actually, I don't even need to. Uh, well, okay, we'll I go think into the, you do the foot. Have to do it for the foot as well. Well, I could just copy. I like duplicate, oh, yeah. but I mean, I already. No, 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 that's a fair point. You can't do that. I take that back. Yeah, I can just duplicate. <clears throat> delete the current foot. Duplicate. Uh, clone, in this case, Crawfish 2. Rename. And I'll just go position. Because it's not gonna, we're not doing a foot. It's not going to make sense to call it a foot if it's not a foot. I believe there are a couple of different effects uh, that you can add in, <clears throat> like make it additive or stuff like that. But mm -hmm. if you're asking for transparency, I guess it would. Really yeah, really I don't know. Is there some way to do it like in GIMP? You could do it. You can change color. You can levels. open it in GIMP. I I could open it in GIMP, but I don't know how to do it here. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. There there is a way to like. Do you do the alphas as well? You can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can actually set transparent. Yeah. And then it's like that's a little. But we can make it a little less transparent. So it's uh, from 0 to 255. Okay. But what you're doing is you're dropping oh. a dark color on top of the. Oh, I'm dropping a dark, dark color. It's not right. the same it's thing. Not, which is not the same thing. So you're going to have to. Uh, I would recommend GIMP mm -hmm. because uh, that's as easy as just changing the layer properties and calling it a day. Yeah, so, okay, I'll export this. That's what I'll do. I'll export this so, since it's the size I want it to be. So that's that's what this little save thing does. So position. Because I think that's how it's going to work. There. All right, back to GIMP. We could okay. also just like make it a silhouette too if we wanted to. That's so like it takes true. out all the details of the crayfish. Mm. Yeah, we could do a lot of stuff with GIMP. So let's see, what do we, um, where is my image, position image, there we go. Okay. okay. So um, if we wanted to set it to a solid color. You can also just be like, what else? Yeah. <laughs> the, but there is a way to make it into a solid color if you want to. Okay. Uh, I think the way to make that happen is to copy this layer. Oh yeah, okay. Um, it, it's a literal control A copy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, copy. I don't know. Paste. Oh, don't, uh, don't paste it yet. Alright, see? <laughs> uh, and then right click on that and add mask. Oh, ma uh, layer mask? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, white, yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Hold that for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. And uh, and then if you click on the mask, in theory, mm -hmm. you should be able to paste right. your image. Okay. I might be wrong. Paste. Well, oh, no, it doesn't want to do that. Uh, Try creating a new layer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dif uh, a different plan. Different, different plan, new plan. Right. Uh, Right. New, new layer is at the very bottom. All right, new layer, yeah. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. There's a button at the bottom of the dock itself. Oh, yes. It's um. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Sure. At, on that new layer, add a mask and try that again. Okay. Um, add layer mask. Right. Add. Uh oh, go back. Hmm? I'll <laughs> uh, do add layer mask again. 
-hmm. but uh, instead of uh, instead of white, go with black. Yeah, black. Okay. Red. Okay. Wait. What? Hmm. So we just give me a minute. Go, can you go back to uh, <laughs> removing the layer mask from the first layer? Oh. Do I have to do all this? Uh, yeah. So delete, delete layer mask, mask yeah. and then create a new layer mask again. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice this option. Uh, mm -hmm. Layers alpha channel. Layers alpha. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, oh yeah, no, that, that's that's even better. Okay. Okay. So what you can actually do is you can wipe out the entire crayfish. Um, you mm -hmm. have to click on the yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you have to click on the image layer itself. There okay. we go. Uh, and then what you can do is you can nuke the entire crayfish by just deleting it, erasing it, or whatever. And mm -hmm. then you can use a paint bucket to fill in with a solid color. Right. That's. Let's see. Is that, oh. Oh. See? Nope. That didn't quite work. Why? Did it? Because you selected the wrong mask. Ah, okay. No. Nope. You selected the mask. I selected the mask. Okay. What am I? It, it has a white outline if, before the layer that you selected. Yeah. But, so cancel and yeah. then hit the normal alpha channel uh, layer right there. Right, this right one? above. Yeah. Now try. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. So, right. an explanation mm -hmm. of masks white is fully opaque, mm -hmm. black is fully transparent. It's a non destructive method to. Uh, Add transparency to your image, hmm. rather than deleting it out entirely. Cool. So now we have a. Well, now we have a silhouette of a crayfish. Yeah. Let's see. How dark do we want it to be? <laughs> I was gonna be extra. I was gonna recommend being extra fancy and pulling like a gradient. A gradient. Ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What kind of gradient? No, wait, that's... You'll have to choose the gradient tool. The gradient, oh, gradient, okay. Oh, right, okay, it's been a lot, little while since I've done this. Okay. It's, uh, it's, right, the it's right next to the paint bucket. You're um, hovering over the paint bucket icon, there you go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, then just quickly drag as much gradient as you want. Yeah, wee. <laughs> oh. How visible will that be? Yeah, it's kind of the same color as the background moon. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You can. <coughs> you can. Well, yeah, you're, you can you're act working on selecting a different color. Ooh. <laughs> it's party colors. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whee. Whoa. <laughs> no, it's. Hmm. It's curious yeah, that your them. toolbox for different gradient selections is gone, but whatever. <laughs> because there's. There's other options like uh, radial. Oh. Hmm. I don't know why it's only linear right now, mm -hmm. and it's not giving you the option to change that. That's unfortunate. Here's radio. Mm -hmm. radio. Unless it just says it's radio. Does yeah, it does say it's radio. I don't know. Oh. What did I just do? Yeah, that doesn't look radial to me. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, rainbow! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like it! Rainbow! And we're gonna, we're gonna kind of make it transparent too. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Alright. Alright, uh, save. Yeah, it's save. No, not save. Oh, and then export! Yay! Oh wait, it's gonna re rewrite the thing. You can cancel right now. I don't know if I it bothers me too much <laughs> at this point. <laughs> this is something I can probably create pretty easily, so I'm good. The computer will remember <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> it. it I, I'm actually sure it will. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I just have to get rid of this image, or do what? Can I just? Oh. You can just overwrite it. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, position image, yay! Our awesome. rainbow lobster, yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a real party. We got, we got a. There we go. Position. Oh, of course it's big. It's huge. Well, we'll just need to make it about the right size. All right. 
I'm all right. Just kind of using this as a guide. You probably want to adjust a collider box a bit too. Uh, yeah, I'll probably want it to do that as well. Yeah, that's for both the crayfish and the. Uh, yeah, that's the probably fish. would have been a good thing to do before I cloned them, but yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Trying to make it line up. <laughs> it's close. There we go. Close enough. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Got a rainbow guide for 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 dancing here. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you want a footstep pattern now? <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Well, we don't have the. I'm gonna need to work on the uh, collision box. Oh, that's not too bad. What's this? I don't think we wanted to collide on a whisker. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That'll make it too easy. <laughs> I can double click, right? Or am I just not? No? Okay. Yeah, well, let's keep it like that. That's yeah. good. All right, that that's easy. That was much easier than I thought it would be. And then let's zoom out. Oh, not that quite that far. Yes. What? Now, do you trust a rainbow colored crayfish or the blue crayfish? Do I trust? <laughs> trust for what? <laughs> I trust all of them. <laughs> We don't make assumptions here. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't use them in the house. <laughs> oh, everyone's like, are you just ignoring the suggestions now? <laughs> okay, seriously, this is awesome. <laughs> We're gonna in have a, a dance off here. In a way, we added ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Very odd looking ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> it has a little horn coming out from the top. It's like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little, the, the way it looks, it kind of makes me think of a Pony Island. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I don't know what Pony Island is. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a game. Uh, it was a Ludum Dare game. Uh, it was formerly a Ludum Dare game, now a full-fledged released game. Mm -hmm. it's, and it is quite excellent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun game. <laughs> it's a fun game to watch uh, people play here. I actually went back and, and watched the old Ludum Dare video. I actually hadn't been there for that, so... <laughs> <laughs> Recent, fairly recently, I had done that. So, all right. So yes, Pony Island chess. If you haven't seen Pony Island, you should go check it out. <laughs> well, where I checked out that bear, the Collins bear. <laughs> all right. Six. So I guess I could take a look at the suggestions <laughs> just for a lark, but uh, let's see. All right, we got electricity. Make all the characters have branching dialogue trees. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Jellyfish, ethanol and fire. I missed that one earlier, obviously. Crowfish should get bonus point when it tangos. Mardi Gras beads. I don't know. Dancing queen. Okay. okay, we can't do dancing queen because um, copyright issues. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we can find a, a version that isn't, you know, copyrighted, then sure. And now we have a rainbow, we need a leprechaun. We have a bunch of green people. That's a leprechaun. We're done. <laughs> just give them a hat and you'll be done. Yeah, I was just Mark thinking that, yeah. Should be easy enough. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had to be moved for them. <laughs> I don't know what we do with those original green people. I think that maybe they're just the cheering crowd. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have a dance off. You gotta have an audience, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> So there we go, the, the dancing crowd in the background. And we got our dance off going on. <laughs> I'm just make another little 
crowd here. Little, little crowd of people. People cheering them on. Oh, let's see. Oh, all right. Yeah, you may want to make the text smaller. Yeah, yeah, I can probably afford to make it a little smaller in this direction, potentially. But then we, yeah, we gotta have our, we gotta have our dance, dancing uh, audience. Wow. <laughs> this looks like a game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> We got our dancing going on. So I guess we're probably going to have to change the, the mechanic a little bit. We're going to have to make this bounce around a little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now it's a little too static, given what we're going to be doing with this. So I'm going to give the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> just, the just the image. <laughs> Completely still after watching that, it's like, oh, it's just not the same. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, this is this is good. We we gotta we gotta make the suit cucumber move around a little bit, like randomly, or or maybe just uh, cycle through particular positions. <laughs> I'm reminded of uh, those a time when we went to Hawaii. And in the hotel, they just had a video clip that I'm sure the state of Hawaii made, but it looks so, so old, like so 70s to 80-ish old. And there's a part where they say, like, corals are living things, please don't step on them. And then uh, a bunch of people are just saying, like, ow, oh, no, no, ew, don't step on us, as like, these kids are doing are recreating the stepping on corals oh, sound effects and <laughs> then i'm just like i'm just thinking of the same voice acting going on with that seed cucumber it's like ow oh ow, ow, don't fry me that's a good suggestion we put it in here <laughs> sound effects and yeah we include do. voice acting Voice acting. Oh, well, we've, we've got the setup for it. We probably have to do the clips ahead of time or, or separate time. But yeah, but yeah, we, we, we should definitely add, add music and, and stuff. That'd be fun. Uh, you know what? I'm on it. I'll see if I can make some music. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Have, oh wait, I forgot my iPad. No. <laughs> no. Next time. Next time we'll do sound. Everyone <laughs> suggests making the sea cucumber the TVGS mascot. No. <laughs> we are, we are, no, we, we already have mascots. <laughs> yeah. We have our T T V and G S? I don't know. <laughs> I will shelve that idea for future purposes. <laughs> In the meantime, we are thinking about it is my official answer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit tired. I'm going to do a long course, day tomorrow, yes. but I'm thinking, trying to think what the next steps would be. I mean, mm -hmm. John did end his streams earlier mm -hmm. as necessary, so don't feel yeah. too pressured. I think we're at a good seven. stopping point, actually. We've yeah, got I most of our are. stuff. We've got our, we've got a crowd. We've got, <laughs> you know, our, 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 we just need to decide dance moves. We need music. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can we add a title screen? A title screen. There we go. What are we, what are we calling it? Add lay layout. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we don't need an event sheet. We'll. Uh, <laughs> okay. So. I'm uh, gonna... First off, it sounds to me like the way Construct Two makes their layout is that you need to actually order the layouts inside a project's folder properly itself. Well, you sometimes have to do. You don't necessarily have. It doesn't. Is not actually required. Um, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, hmm. because the way I remember how Construct 2 does it, oh no, wait, maybe it's right. When you click on new project, mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's a properties under new project. Uh -huh. uh, and then one of these tell you, oh, is it? You actually, um, when you want to change layouts. Oh, first layout, there it is. It oh. says default right now. Okay. Personally. And then we probably want to change that to layout two. Oh, well, layout two. Okay, but yeah, we don't necessarily. That's a good point. Um, that's a good point. Yeah, I do for that part. I think yeah, that helps. But 
Anyway, yeah. I know I'm going way too. <laughs> no, no, it, it's a good point. It's a good point. Um, C in space is what Nephron says. Or the letter C in space. C in space? No. Let's see, we've got a cucumber in space, so. <laughs> cucumber and a lobster and a crayfish. Crawfish. Crawfish. It is, it is to C. <laughs> Cross, C and C. Uh, <laughs> crayfish queen. <laughs> Dancing fish in space? No, they're not fish. Actually, neither one of them is actually a fish. Space Jam. Space Jam. I think that name might be taken. Space Jig. <laughs> space Jig. Space. Not fish. <laughs> hmm. The curious case of a dancing crayfish. <laughs> Well, it could be a working title right now. Okay. Right? It could be in the right. suggestion box of things. It doesn't have to be something that holds us back. From yeah, we can put in a layout. Yeah. Together. Title. Okay, yeah, titles, mm -hmm. you know. So It'll come later. Yeah, we can do the title later. I'll just uh, get the color figured out. Title's like one of the last things I ever think about. Title tends to be the last thing I think about as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The philosophy behind that thinking is that you want to know what the game is about first. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it really helps. And, yeah, <laughs> and someone who often changes his game ideas very often. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like coming with, up with a title first. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's. Oh, well, yeah, it says horizontal line left right now if you want to center it. Oh. Uh, uh, it's under color. Oh, right there. Uh, center. There we go. That That's makes nice. it easier. Yep. I don't know how centered it is in the space itself, but it's probably. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it. Dance, dance, evolution. Dance, <laughs> dance. And that friend suggested. Dance, dance. Okay, we'll do that for a working it's, it's title. Pretty nice. Dance, evolution. Dance, dance. Right. Yep. Dance, dance, evolution. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. It's good. Evolution is different than revolution. There we go. Yeah. I think we're good. Cool. All right. And of course, we're going to need a button or something to click on. All right. So actually, yeah, let's do a button. That'll be make it. Click on the seek. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll have it be a button for now, and then we can decide something more effect, uh, more oh, fancy. Something on the left and the right of the button. Um, but you, you can click under the Dance Dance Evolution. Yeah. And that'll place a button. Okay. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's true. When the crosshair appears, it means. All oh, right. It's it's yeah. It's ready to play something. Yeah. Okay. Let's start dancing. There we go. Start. Oh, that doesn't look. Start dancing. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, the text isn't very big. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be a way to change. Oh, all the font size. No. Nope, it's not. Mm. Huh. Mm. Oh, we can figure this out later. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's bound to be a way to like. Okay, so when you can, when you <laughs> click on the button. Lord of the crawfish. We're just coming up with some good ideas. I told you to write them down in the suggestions box. Hmm? So we don't feel uh, never mind. Just come up with all these uh, <laughs> title names. Oh yeah. Lord of the Crawfish. <laughs> Love fish in space. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully it's just writing them down. Love fish in dangerous space time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go to layout by name. Uh, go to layout is a better option. Go to layout. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Layout two. No, it should be layout one because we're on layout two. Done. Okay. Yeah, it might be a good idea to start naming layouts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, uh, rename. Layout to like construct start. scenes, I guess, is compared to Unity. Is it like a scene? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Start screen. Layout one is rename game. Wow, I'm really proud of what we achieved today. Yeah, 
This is really cool. Very Thanks, good. Chessie. <laughs> I don't even think we went, we, we didn't even go anywhere near the limits. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. We got several digits for the events. Hey. I mean, this is a lot farther what? than what happens when I spent two hours on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, everyone uh, watching me and then did stuff, yeah. I, the, um, I tend to make more mistakes when I'm typing. <laughs> and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But um, yeah, this this goes really I can quickly. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, well, I think I think we're good here. Good. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. well, All right. We are doing a fantastic job of closing this episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna join us next time. Well, actually, next next uh, week, what are we doing? Um, we'll figure out a way to actually make it such that you actually have to <laughs> land on those footprints. <laughs> Is it build yeah. a game though next week? I, think I don't know if it's build a game. Build actually. a game will be the week after. We so do it every two week? weeks. Okay. Um, but the, that might be going back to Unreal, so it might be a little while before we go back to this. But yeah. Um, no, this is adorable. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's a good stopping place. We've, we've got a game and simple idea, you know, dancing. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to Taco Bell for that idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess we're going to be closing the stream at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>